Hey, Tito, it's Darren. Sorry I missed your call there. How's it going? Doing good. How are you? I'm doing great. Not used to people being early, so <laughs> praise to you for being early on the interview time. So I want to talk yeah, to no, you. Yeah, I'm very punctual. <laughs> exactly. So you have this big fight coming up through Combates America. And how long had it been in the works for you to be working with that promotion? Well, it's been since, uh, I think we started talking around March. And then uh, we finally got the deal signed in July. So things happen really, really quick. It was uh, it usually takes a little bit longer, but things happen really quick. And all of a sudden, the opponent, uh, I knew who it was by July, and I started training. And um, I thought the fight was going to be right before Halloween, but uh, we wanted to push a little bit longer just to get more PR of the deal. And they had other things in the works. So we made a perfect date of uh, December 7th, and uh, we're six days away. Is training for this fight any different than the training for your last fight? No, it's exactly the same, you know, sparring a bunch, uh, a lot of road work. It's just a little longer camp just because I got to make sure I take Alberto seriously. Um, you know, he, he is uh, coming from a professional wrestling world, but he does an amateur record, or excuse me, a professional record of mixed martial arts of nine and five. So I got to take the guy seriously. I can't joke around. I mean, that's when guys make mistakes. That's how people lose. And I don't want to do that. So I made sure I did my homework. I made sure I worked super, super hard for this camp. Uh, putting in a 19-week camp, the longest camp of my career. And uh, I've, I've been very thankful to actually do what I'm doing right now. When you're part of the training process and all that, is diet a huge part of that for you at this point in your career? Um, Yeah, I'd be just to make sure that I have enough energy to get make it through uh, you know, three sessions a day, six days a week. Uh, I'm not really – I don't eat – fast food um i don't eat fried foods at all maybe the fried foods i cook at home because most of my meals i do cook at home but uh no sodas um i eat super clean sushi is a huge part of my uh diet um, i eat a lot of sushi um just because it's very clean protein and clean carb complex carbohydrates the white rice but uh i don't eat carbs after uh, 4 p.m uh you know, I, I stay pretty pretty strict. You know, consistency and uh, being structured like that uh, has helped me through my career to continue fighting for the 22 years I've been fighting. You know, most fighters don't have a career as long as mine because they don't take care of themselves or they lose the love for it or they just have injuries and they're not willing to sacrifice themselves to get past those injuries and uh, recover for with uh, therapy, you know, and, and I've been able to do it with my surgeries. I've been able to bounce back with my injuries. Um, and just have the mentality to keep working. You know, I want to make the best of his life right now. I'm, uh, I'm living the American dream, and I don't want to stop living it. You bring up a good point when you say that you've been doing this for over 20 years. You became a superstar in MMA really before there were MMA superstars. When you got started in the field, did you want to be doing this for 20 years, or was it a springboard to acting, which I know that you've also done? Um, you know, I, I thought I would make enough money to take care of my career forever. Uh with the UFC, but it was just, I was always battling against them. Um, you know, I made maybe 4% of the money they would make on the venues, uh, or excuse me, on the revenue that when I would fight. So they would keep a big lump sum of it. And I was always trying to fight back for the, uh, for the fighters, fighting back for what I believed in, because I was giving my life and soul inside that cage, you know, blood, sweat, and tears, all the surgeries I've had and everything. And, you know, it wasn't like there was any, um, any, retirement uh with ufc because i never was but all of a sudden in 2016 i sold the company for 4.5 billion dollars and none of us big names got any checks cut to us and it wasn't like i expected anything from it but still um when you buy a company for two million dollars and then turn it around itself for 4.5 billion and make it off this blood sweat and tears off our back of the fighters i think uh some of the big name fighters who were champions who who pushed the sport to what it is today to get a little bit of uh, um, you know, re re reciprocation from them. And we never did, but uh, I'm, I'm just thankful to be where I am. You know, I'm thankful to be health wise, physically, emotionally, um, you know, mentally to be where I am today. Uh, I, I haven't taken much damage uh, to my head. I've taken a lot of damage to my body, but the surgeries have fixed that. You know, I have an uh, eight cell replacement in both my knees. I've had L4, five S1 fused in my lower back. I've had a, uh, T3, T2, T2, T1, T1, C7 disc replacement. I've had C7, C6 fuse. I've had C6, C5 fuse. I've had C5, C4 disc replacement. And I reattached retina. But let me tell you, um, with just uh, the hard work and dedication that I put into it and just the no quit mentality, it, uh, it keeps me going. Uh, I want to fail as much as possible so I can learn from those failures and continue to succeed. You know, I want to stay hungry and I, 
I just, uh, it, it just drives me each and every day to perform. It drives me each and every day to get the best out of my life. And like I say, this American dream that we live here in America, I'm, I'm, I'm fortunate, I'm lucky, and I want to make the best of it. You know, I have three kids and I want to show them what hard work and dedication is truly about. And um, I'm leaving proof of it, you know, proof's in the pudding. And, and I, I, I've been putting it out there. And about a decade ago, you wrote a book and a lot has happened to you in the last 10 years. Are you thinking of doing another book? I would love to do another book. And let me tell you, it's 10 times of what the first book was. Uh, the first book was more just the childhood of, of, of being, uh, you know, uh, responsible for my actions and, uh, you know, trying to, to figure this life out a little bit. You know, the second book would be responsible as a parent and being a, a fighter and coming back and when people say you couldn't do something and people put you down and cut you down and, you know, prevailing of, after so many obstacles in life of where I'm in today. I'm mean, talking about an inspirational, motivational book that I could write. It, um, it, hopefully I can, I can do it. You know, I'm very thankful to be where I am today. And, you know, my fans and my family and the people that have came into my life over the last six years have just been amazing. You know, my children are, are smart and healthy and just uh, hardworking gentlemen. And I, and I, it shows that the parenting that, that I've been doing is working and I'm very, very thankful. I mean, there's, there's a lot of avenues I think I can do, not just with one book of my life story, but just in parenting in general, you know, being a single parent, uh, you know, having, being a parent with a, a significant other, um, not a wife, but a girlfriend and, and having, um, raising kids the right way in a household uh, in this modern day and time. I think there hasn't really been a book written for parents who come from a split home or kids who come from a split home or with a single parent or just with the hard times that uh, some parents go through right now. Because it's hard to be a parent. You know, it's very, very hard to be a parent. But you know, uh, like I say, once again, I'm just, I'm lucky to be where I am today. It's a blessing in disguise. Definitely hope to read that book. Great to see all the things that you got going on. So in closing, uh, any last words for the kids? You know, um, just uh, hard work and dedication pays off, you know. Never step on anybody to get ahead. You know, I just uh, live this life, um, work as hard as possible, and live it to the fullest. Never expect anything. Um, no one's entitled to anything. they got to earn it. And uh, that's what I teach my children. And, uh, you know, live with integrity, respect for yourself and treat others the way you want to be treated. Never step on anybody to get ahead. Glad to see and hear that you're doing so great. So keep it up, man. And thanks for your time. Awesome, man. I appreciate it. You have a great day.